Once I start, actually, once I start going through the uh, Team Aqua hideout, I can talk about uh, Argentina, because things have been happening there as well. I mentioned it last time how the uh, how Javier Mille, uh moves on to the second round, despite not getting uh, the most votes in the first round because he was second. Uh, some more stuff has been happening now that the elections have properly moved on to the second round and, and uh, candidates are campaigning for that effect. I don't know if this is going to be a segment, but uh, you know, here we go anyways. Javier Millet was the far-right, you know, anarcho-capitalist candidate uh, running for president in Argentina. Uh, his, his main campaign promises involved getting rid of most of the departments and ministries in the Argentinian government. Uh, typically not a good idea, uh, you know, to put, to put things relatively mildly, and uh, he initially outperformed expectations and then underperformed expectations by surging leading up to the, the first round and then losing the first round coming in second place. But that was well enough for him to move on to the second round, uh, and here we have from Populism updates. Uh, Millet is, uh, is, is making some performative concessions to the left by saying that, oh, I will let the left run a ministry, just, you know, one ministry, I guess. Uh, it's possible, I think, this has something to do with, uh, most likely ministries in Argentina having more autonomy than in other countries, maybe? That, that could be part of it, or it could just be exactly the kind of nothing gesture that I think it is which wouldn't be all too out of character for the type of person that Javier Millet is. Uh, however, he said they, the elimination of the Central Bank of Argentina is, quote, non-negotiable. Uh, this is a terrible idea. Now, nobody likes bankers, not even me. <laughs> yeah, Millet looks like a joke after saying he destroyed the state and now trying to be nice with the trots. Yeah, th th I mean, that is pretty much how he looks here. Um, eliminating the Central Bank in, an, in a... Uh, environment where there's still money it like as long as you have an economy and you have money you have to have a uh, sector that is used for moving around that money you have to have a banking in air quotes sector the problem with modern banks is fucking capitalism because they're, they're all like owned by shareholders and they all do investing it's basically every company including banks function mostly as investing firms where it's like a shareholder playground and then any function that they actually perform is uh, is secondary the thing that makes um yes capitalism time the thing that makes banks appear all the more slimy when they do this is because since the banks are charged with moving around money managing finances and things like that uh and also uh having some capital reserves for other businesses in the economy they basically are privy to a certain degree of insider information that other businesses are not so more often than not it looks like they are cheating because in some degree they are um here in ecuador we're dollarized we still got a cent central bank someone's got to handle the local economy the fed isn't going to take care of you just because you use their dollars yes that's right and and uh you know typically the 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 federal reserve or, or the federal bank the central bank in in whatever country uh yes is that lender of uh of last resort is charged with getting a hold of those dollars uh and getting a hold of like the currency that is used internationally which in this case is the the u.s dollar because global hegemon blah blah i don't want to get too far into the weeds abolishing a central bank is not a good idea in a globalized economy where there's a lot of money moving around uh so this is more evidence i guess of just javier Millet being stupid um the next point is that unfortunately the the JXC alliance uh, is is uh, has been divided. Not to be confused with content creator JXC, who is uh, cool, I think. Um, let me look up Argentina JXC political party in Argentina. What is its political leanings? It's a big tent party. Okay, so this is the liberal bloc. It looks like center to center right. Okay, so the center right coalition. Uh, kind of broke apart, it seems. Yes, okay, their presidential candidate, Bullrich, just endorsed Millet, despite saying earlier, I think, that he would vote against him. That's kind of bizarre. Um, and then, let's see here, two new polls, tied slash Millet behind by 10. So this is, um, now the running is strictly between, uh, Javier Millet and Sergio Massa. 
That's what all is going on in uh, Argentina at the moment. But let's see. Is there any more details on this? Javier Millet posted. Oh my god, he posted a fucking AI generated image of of the of one of the other uh, candidates endorsing him. Look at this shit. Even in South America, libertarians still just fucking post cringe all the time. Great, glad glad to see it. Honestly, so I guess I guess I don't want to retread old ground too much. Uh, Sergio Massa is clearly the preferential candidate. Uh, you know, relative to Javier Millet, guy who says I'm gonna abolish like half of the departments in in uh, in the Argentinian government, which is a really stupid idea. <laughs> and again, this is one of those wait and see moments, I suppose. Um, I don't know. Let's see when when Argentina presidential election. I want to see when this election is going to happen. 2023 Argentine general election. Okay, the second round is going to be on the 19th of November. So, that's when that's when I guess the presidency will be decided. And as far as I know, Argentina is one is is a uh, is a normal country relative to the United States, which means that once the president wins the election, they are inaugurated and sworn into office pretty soon thereafter. Uh, and, and, and they don't do the thing where it's like, oh yeah, we have to wait until January of the following year for, for you to actually be president. I don't know why the US does that, but hey, we do, I guess. So, you know, this could be a victory for the left, possibly. Um, although I would rather, whatever happens, I would rather it be a resounding defeat for the right. Fun fact in your Discord? Ooh, what's the fun fact? <laughs> Epic meme. Here, let, let me show this on stream. Where is, uh... Open link. Very good. Uh, excellent. This is, uh, vital information. Everybody must know this. Has your country ever eaten your prime minister? Uh, in red, we have no. Uh, in green, there is yes. Splendid. When did this happen? Ah, yes. The example of Johan de Witt, de Witt, the head of the Dutch Republic in the mid-17th century, who, after a series of negative events in the early 1670s, uh, was murdered in The Hague on the 20th of August, 1672. And then his killers at least partially ate his body and that of his brother, brother uh, Cornelis. Nice. Uh, they killed him and ate him. Uh, this is what happens to the average Dutch politician, in fact. Uh, every week, this is happening. I've always said this. Uh, yes. Uh, if Javier Millet is elected, uh, I think we know we know what to do. Uh, the, the path of history has laid this out uh, for us time and again. Uh, starting to feel hungry. Maybe the BBB has some delicious ministers left over. Very true. Very true. I mean, hey, they are if they're if they're actually the farmer villager party, then you know they're they're working in the fields, you know, harvesting that delicious food. They probably taste like corn or something. Pretty good. <laughs> All this talk of politics is making me hungry. <laughs> I might make that into a segment. Me talking about the the Argentine elections and and then also eating politicians and stuff. Uh, yes. Yeah, I think that'll be it. Yeah, where's an Argentinian minister when you need him? It's okay, we, we have to- we simply must satiate our appetites un, uh, until Javier Millet potentially gets elected. If he is not elected, we can simply eat the BBB. They will be the main course. Uh, we can have Javier Millet as a side dish. As a treat, you see. 